Hey there, this is Red. It's time for another episode of Red Plays. So, what's happened thus far is we got the beatdown from Expert Rhino as Hulk. Now, we were playing with the default Hulk deck, and maybe I'm just playing it horribly, but it wasn't working out for me against Rhino. I'm not sure if it's bad draws, me playing not so well, making poor choices, or just Rhino's all that tough, or there's also the added factor that Ronin's in the deck too, um, and he adds kind of a tougher twist to this whole endeavor. So, what I ended up doing is going out and tweaking up my own Aggression Hulk deck, and we'll see how this works out. Um, I don't know that it's any better. I don't know that deck building is my strong suit, but uh, we'll give it a try and see how this works out here. So, uh, let's get ready to roll. We've got Rhino out there. He's on level two. He's got 15. We've got our expert cards in. We've got breaking and taken. Oh, sorry. We've got breaking and taken, and we've got the break in in out there. So, I think we're ready to go. Oh, one thing I wanted to point out really fast was, real fast was, um, I was looking around online and on Thingiverse, I'll put the link out there, but somebody's making, has plans for these really cool little uh, holders, which don't work well in my setup. But if you have a setup yourself or you're playing, looking at the cards, so it's got these little slots in here so you can put the cards in there and then some little things to hold the dice, right? So you end up with kind of a nice little display of either that's your villain or maybe that's your scheme that the villain's going after. And it's pretty cool. So um, if I was playing top down, I think I might like, if I was going to the view like this, this is probably what I would switch to. But uh, since we're coming from above, not going to work. So... Maybe I can make the angle a little bit more and see if it'll work. I don't know. I like my little tiles anyway. So, all right. Back to the job at hand. Let's go. We've got uh, Bruce Banner out there. We've got Rhino out there. Let's throw out some cards. So Bruce Banner needs five cards. One, two, three, four, five. And I think I've mixed these up pretty good. So we will find out. All right. We've got a Skilled Strike, a Drop Kick, Honor Avenger, Thunderclap, and Crushing Blow. So... If we roll on over to um, Hulk, we're not going to get rid of the thwart on the breaking, or we're not going to get rid of the breaking and taken. What we can do is we could potentially get a stun because these are pretty much all physical resources. So we can drop kick with, so we could drop kick with three cards. That's going to put a stun on him. We're going to get to draw a card. So I could either use the Skilled Strike or the Crushing Blow. The likelihood of me drawing another physical resource in this deck is extremely high. So I think there's like maybe four cards that aren't physical resources. So I could either hold on to the Honorary Avenger and look to give myself a hit point, or I could look to doing a Crushing Blow and then beefing up the damage that I do even more. I think what we'll do is we will hold on to the crushing blow because the likelihood that we pull that off is pretty good. The other thing is I could use my skilled strike and that would do five. That would be a guaranteed. So if I do it this way, rather than attacking again and getting three, I would be guaranteed to do two. I think that's probably the better play because I've got a guarantee on my attack. All right. So let's roll. We're going to roll over. Oh, actually, um, so I don't think I want to mulligan anything. Actually, we're not going to use the Thunderclap. We know we won't use that. So let's go ahead and mulligan that. And there's our mulligan. It's going to get us counterattack. Oh, that gets interesting. So rather than a skilled strike, I could play a counterattack. Okay, so I think, well... No, I can't play, well, because I'd get an additional card. I guess I get an additional card when I do my drop kick. So I may end up looking more like this, because then I can turn around and do a lot of damage to Rhino. All right, so what we can do is Bruce Banner, though, is now we can use, now we're starting the game, we can do Bruce Banner's ability, which is draw a card and then discard a card. So we're going to draw, oh, we got a Hulk smash. Oh, that's even more fun. So... That could be more fun than the drop kick, right? We could do 
we could do 15 damage. And uh, so if we do this, we're doing 15 damage and taking Rhino over to Rhino two, 3 right off the bat. Let's do that. That's just so much fun. That's tough to resist. I got to do it. So we're going to go Hulk. We're going to pay. Oop, I got rid of one too many cards. Oh, no, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. So we should be at five cards. Um, we got rid of our drop kick. Not getting rid of my... All right. So we're going to do one, two, three. And we're going to do our Hulk smash. Along with our Hulk attack. So Hulk smash is going to give us plus 10 if we paid only using physical resources, which we did, right? And those are only physical resources. So we're doing plus 10. And then we're going to throw another plus two on top of that. So we're doing 15 damage to Rhino right out of the gate. All right, there we go. Rhino two is out. Here comes Rhino three. He's going to stun us and he's going to be tough. All right. Um, and we need to give him 16 hit points. All right, we're up to Rhino three. I think that's the fastest I've ever got rid of Rhino 2. So, um, but now there's going to be a lot of bad cards, so we're going to see how this goes. And we're stunned. All right. Uh, we're going to get four cards. One, two, three, four. All right. We've got another Hulk smash. Oh, but we're stunned, so that kind of that doesn't work for us very well. Unless we go over to Banner. Now, let, let's see how this works out. So, um... First off, we're going to put a threat on the main scheme. Rhino is going to come attack the Hulk. The Hulk's going to take it. So Rhino's doing four. He's going to get a boost of you dare oppose me. So he's going to get overkill and he's going to do six. Overkill doesn't matter because we don't have any friendlies out there. So we're going to take six damage. All right. Now we're going to get two encounter cards. Let's see what we get for encounter cards. So encounter card number one is... Stampede. So he's going to attack me and I'm going to be stunned. Well, I'm already stunned, so that's not too horrible. The question is, do I want to exhaust to defend against it? No, we'll just take it. We're going to take it. We're going to take how much damage? Five damage. All right, so we've taken 11 so far. We're, we're stacking the damage up. Oop, I can just flip this puppy over and we've got 11. Okay, counter card number two is... Uh, Assault! He's coming at me again! Holy cow! He was not mad. So I did 15 damage. He's done 11 and he's got another attack coming. Um, we're going to take this one also. So he's going to hit us for 4. He's going to get a boost of none. So he's going to hit me for a total of 15. All right, so we traded blows. I did 15 to him, and he did 15 to me. But he also did a tough and a stun. So, um, yeah. All right. We're even, I guess. That worked out pretty even. That's two big giants just going right at each other. Okay, so we're back over to the hero turn. Now, what I'm thinking hero-wise is uh, I took 15 damage. That's a lot of damage to take in a turn. Well, I would really like to Hulk smash... That's not going to do it for me. So what I think I need to do is we can get some endurance out there. Or maybe we get our downtime out there. Yeah, let's get our downtime out there. We're going to use our suborbital leap to get our downtime out there. All right. That's going to give us plus two recovery. We're going to flip over to banner. And then we're going to take, take a nap. And we're going to recover six, so we're going to go from 15 down to nine. So we're going to go with a five and a couple of twos. So hopefully we uh, recover a little bit quicker there than Rhino does. All right, so as Banner's ability, I can discard a card and draw a card. So I think we're going to, I hate to do it. No, let's not do it. We won't do it. We're going to discard our Endurance. Oh, so do I hold on to the Endurance? I could play Endurance. Or do I plan on holding on to the Hulk Smash? Because I can do that as Banner. It's not something I could do as Hulk. If I hold on to Hulk Smash, the problem is I've got a stunned and a tough. 
I am probably not going to get past those when I go over to Hulk. So I think we're going to get, oh, I get to draw first. Then I get to see what I want to do. Oh, we got a movable object. All right, so we're going to get rid of Hulk smash. Um, so that's my discard after the draw card. Ooh, ooh, so that's plus four hit points instead of plus three hit points, and I get retaliate one. I might stick with that. All right, so we're going to be done. I'm going to discard my endurance. And we're going to draw four cards. So we're going to get a Yarnborn, a Crushing Blow, a Strength, and Skilled Strike. All right. It's Villain's turn. Oh, we get untap. All right, Villain's turn. What's the Villain going to do? So... First thing is we're gonna put a threat on the main scheme. Now we get some scary stuff because there's some schemey things going on. So he's got one, he's gonna get a boost because he sees Banner out there, he's scheming. He's gonna scheme for one, good time, good time. I like that, all right. Now we get two encounter cards. So let's see how these work out. Breaking and taking is kind of scary. So encounter card number one is Stampede, I'm Alter Ego, so it gets Surge. So we're gonna get another card. Let's see what else we get. We get, bring the hammer down. So when revealed, Ronin act against the play, activates against the player. If there is no Ronin, this card gains Surge. All right, so it's gonna Surge. And we're gonna get, hard to keep down. When revealed, Rhino heals four. If he doesn't heal, cause he's at full health, he's gonna, it's gonna Surge. So we're gonna Surge again. And we get the accused. So this is gonna go on my identity. And then when Rhino hits me, he's gonna hit me for plus one. That's just what I need is to take some more damage. All right, so we're accused and stunned. All right, next card is, oh no, Shadows of the Past. I haven't seen my nemesis yet. So, but I guess I get to see it now. All right, so what we've got coming out is, Abomination. So after Abomination attacks you, discard the top card of your deck. If a physical resource was discarded this way, take two damage. I can pretty much guarantee you that it will be a physical resource. All right, and then we have Total Destruction. Threat cannot be removed from this from this scheme while Abomination is in play. And it could give me another card. Ho, ho, ho. Yep. All right. So not going great it, we had a great opening but uh yeah this this round's not working out so well so all right and we're stunned which is really annoying okay we're going back over to the hero though it's hero time so what are we gonna do as hero we have um we have a crushing blow i would really like to get our movable object out there Let's do our banner ability first. So we're gonna draw a card and then we get to discard a card. So we're gonna draw, ooh, a counter attack. So that's kind of what I was basing the deck on was being able to do counter attacks. So my skilled strike is gonna enhance a basic attack. I'm gonna have a tough time doing a basic attack. So I think I'm gonna let my skilled strike go. All right, now. Getting our yarn born out would be pretty cool. Um, that's gonna spend a physical to do two damage. Uh, movable object would be really nice to get out there because that's gonna give us retaliate one and some more hit points to play with. If we do that, the problem is that if we do that, we're not gonna be able to do much else because that's gonna be three for the immovable object and then um, we could maybe get our yarn born out or we could put our counter attack out. That means we're looking at taking a hit from Abomination and the Rhino. So we're probably taking, oh, tons of damage. So if we do that, we're probably not getting rid of our stun. We're getting three cards. This isn't looking very good. Um, so the other option would be, let's see, instead of a movable object, then we're using single cards to pay for other cards. 
Um, and we're kind of overpaying at that point in time, right? We could use a movable object to get to do a crushing blow, which means we do an additional hero attack. Uh, we could get Yarnborn out there, and then we could use counterattack to do an additional two damage. So that would get rid of our stunned, and we could take the tough off of Rhino. So maybe that's what we do. And then we're going to take a lot of damage. And ooh, we're going to get plus one. When enemy initiates attack against the attached identity, that enemy gets plus one attack. Oh, so that means Rhino's actually going to do five plus a boost. Abomination's going to do four plus a boost. So we're looking at nine. Um, yeah. So that's nine damage on top of I'm already at. What is that? I'm at 9 already, so that's 18. That would take me out without any boost cards. Yikes. Okay. Um, which way to go? So I could do a movable object. I could do a movable object, and that's going to give me... I think that's the way I'm going to go, is a movable object, because that's going to give me the hit points. Maybe that's going to help me live through the round. So if we do that, we, we go Hulk, All right? We're going to drop a movable object. So that's going to give me plus four hit points. So I'm going to go from 18 to 22. I desperately need those hit points because I'm going to take a beating. All right. I think we attack with Hulk and get rid of our stunned. So our stunned is going to go away. And then we're going to put counterattack on the board. All right, so we're going to be done. We're going to untap. Oh, that's going to be interesting. So that's a hero response. And I think and this is going to be what play order happens. Does my retaliate go off before the counterattack? I think so. So that's going to be a response afterwards. I think that's all going to happen. We'll see how it plays out. All right. Villain's turn. One threat on the main scheme. So here's where it gets confusing, right? Because Rhino is going to come attack the Hulk. Uh, Hulk's going to take this. He's doing four. He's going to get plus one. So he's doing five. He's going to get a boost. Six, seven. So we're going to take seven damage. All right. So... Um, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to take seven damage. So we're at five, six, seven, eight, nine plus seven is going to put us up to 16. Five, 16. I think at that point in time, my retaliate kicks off, which will take out his tough. And I believe I can then play my counter attack, which is a hero response. After you take damage from an enemy attack, discard counter attack, deal an amount of damage equal to that to the enemy. So at that point in time, I'm going to do seven damage back to Rhino. So he's at 16. He's going to be down to nine at that point. You know what I forgot to do was I forgot to draw cards. So we will, we will correct that in just a second here. He's down to nine. I need my four cards. Let's get my four cards. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then that was Rhino's attack. I'm making sure I got that right. There's two, three, four, five. Okay. So then the Abomination is going to attack me, and he's going to hit me for four. I'm at 16. That's going to take me all the way up to 20. Ugh. Out of 22. And then the Abomination is going to take a retaliative one. Uh-oh. He's going to take me out. Damn it. Because I'm going to flip my card. And all the likelihood is, after Abomination attacks you, discard the top card of your deck. If it's a physical resource, take two damage. And, oh my god, it's not a physical resource! <laughs> Banner's Laboratory comes in useful. I don't take the two damage. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
All right, so now we're gonna, but now we're gonna draw three encounter cards, right? I'm getting all happy. Now we're gonna get three encounter cards, and that's gonna be bad anyway. <laughs> all right, but I lived that much longer. Okay, so here we go. Encounter card number one. Ronin's gonna come out. Oh my god! All right. <laughs> All right, Ronan's coming out. He's massive. And he's got toughness, of course. All right, next up we've got Charge. So Rhino's getting ready to give me the beat down. And then last of all, we've got Sandman's going to come into play with toughness. Yeah, let's get just get all the bad guys out there. We got them all. Okay, uh, I need another tough. <laughs> There's a nice lineup. All right, so, hey, we're back to the hero's turn. All right, so the question is, is there any way I can do five, six, seven, eight, nine points of damage? It's not looking like it. Um, we've got a combat training that we could get out there. We've got, we could give ourselves another hit point, so we could be up to 23. You'd be up to 23 and have combat training. It's not, it's not looking good. Not looking good at all. Uh, so what, <laughs> oh, what do we do here? We could get Mockingbird out. She's going to put a stun and then we get beat down by Sandman and Ronin. Uh, scheme wise, we could go, <laughs> if we go Banner, Look at that. It's going to be two, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're pretty much done here. Um, let's play it out just because I like playing it out and seeing how it goes. So we will do a... Let's put combat training out there. So we're going to get plus one attack. Uh, Hulk is going to go hit the Rhino. So he's going to hit for four. So we're going to knock him down to five. All right, we're an Avenger, so we can drop an honorary Avenger. On the Hulk, the Hulk's going to go up by one, so he's now at 23 health, and we are done. We're going to draw four cards. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's not going to do it. All right, so we're going to go over the villain's turn, put a threat on the main scheme, and then Rhino's going to charge and just take the Hulk out, because he's doing seven, plus one there is eight. The Hulk can block. We're still taking five. And then uh, no boost, but the five is enough to take us out. So, damn it. All right. So the new deck destroyed by Rhino. We were close. We had him down to five, though. Oh, man. Okay. I'm feeling better about that. Like, Hulk was close. So looking at the board, there was no way another round was going to go. But I felt better about that. So... All right, we're gonna we're gonna do another one of these. So um, I think this deck could work. I feel okay. I, like the last deck, I felt like I was getting bowled over. And I didn't really have a chance. I think I've got a chance with this deck. Um, I haven't built it specifically for Rhino. It's it's really it's a let's take some damage. But he did a lot more damage than I thought he would do coming out of the gate. So um, we'll give it another go. So that's it for this one. So this is zero for one. Um, I'll put a link in the, the comment in the description there for what this deck is because I've got it out on Marvel CDB. Um, actually, here I can run through it real fast. And this is this will be like where you, you're all like, oh my god, you put that in there? So let's see here. We got um, let's take out our Hulk card. So there's a Hulk card, Hulk cards, Hulk cards, Hulk card, Hulk card, Hulk card, Hulk, Hulk. Hulk, 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 Hulk. Oop, no, that's not Hulk. It is Hulk, but it's not Hulk. <laughs> as much sense as that makes. All right. So there's all of our Hulk cards. We'll set them off to the side here. And that's Ronin's card. He can have that back. All right, so what do we have in here? We've got um, some to the rescue, some downtime. We've got toe to toe. We've got two combat trainings. Don't know that I need two combat trainings. Honorary Avenger, so allies are She-Hulk, Lockjaw, and Mockingbird, which you saw earlier. I have To the Rescue in here because it's a physical resource. 
So we've got drop kick, toe to toe. So of the cards that I wonder about is the toe to toe. So what I'm kind of playing this deck around is the idea of toe to toe along with this here counterattack. So I'm thinking what I can do is I can let's put our Hulk up here. Um, I can do toe to toes to trigger some counterattacks to get tons of damage because I did get a pretty good chunk of damage there based off of the counterattack. Uh, then I have supporting that a lot of like skilled strike low cost damage stuff. And actually, maybe I'm a little bit too heavy on the cost. So the skilled strikes add. The thought is a lot of things can contribute to Yarnborn. If I get Yarnborn, then any of these things that are more expensive potentially are an additional two damage after an attack. So not so sure about this. I've got She-Hulk in there because she's a physical, I think. Sentry would be a better, better card to have in here, but he's not a physical resource. And all of these are physical resources. I've stayed really close to all physical resources giving it up on the toe to toes and maybe that's what i switch out is the toe to toes and the counter attacks for something that's more a little bit more actual damage and a little bit less on the gimmicky side of things i don't know so that's it for now let me know what you think about this deck i'm guessing you've got some comments on this deck so anyway let me know what you think uh and, well, we're zero for one right now. We'll see if we get a better better go at it next time here. I, I feel like I could win, so we'll give it a try. So um, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.